Hi everyone, Raquel here from Scrap Cozy. I'm really excited to bring you this video today. It's my January bullet journal spread that I've made using my newest stamps and stencils that I've designed for Paper Artsy, and they're being released today. After almost a year, it is exciting and scary at the same time to show you my newest designs. I would be thrilled to know if you like them. If so, please leave me a comment and let me know which one is your favorite. I would love to know. If you like to get any of these, these are only sold by approved paper artsy stockists. So only a handful of shops in the world have them right now. So if you want to know where you can get them, you can check the links that I'll put in the description of my video. My Etsy shop is now closed, so you cannot get them from me anymore. Okay? And today is a double celebration for me. In addition to the paper artsy stamps and stencils, I've designed three embossing powders for WOW. They come out today as well. It's a trio, that is three embossing powders. And, and they are called Ancient Jewels. There is a blue, Egyptian turquoise, a red, decadent ruby, and a green, royal emerald. They are a mix of gold and a color combination with different size particles. So they are perfect for mixed media, but also for clean and simple card making. And of course, you can create jewelry with them, like I've done in some of the pictures. Let me show you. So I hope to share a video about this really soon. They are very versatile. And I just love how they look even in the jar. They're so yummy. Now let me explain how this came to life. The first stamp set, ESC21, is what I call the bullet journal stamp set. And it pairs with PS221 perfectly. It also pairs very well with my old stencil PS071, which I'll use as well today. If you follow me on YouTube, you know it's been a busy time for me. Well, actually a busy year and a half for me. So I didn't have too much time to craft and I found bullet journal a very practical way to craft. So in this release, I wanted to have a stamp set and a stencil just for that. You have labels and a background stamp set with numbers, days of the week and months, which can be either be used as a background or stamp and cut for your bullet journal as I've done today. You can also cut down the rubber if you want to use the numbers independently. I've done that as well. <laughs> and the stamp is pre-cut for you, so you can do that with ease. Don't worry. Now, ESC22, it has flowers, which I love to fuzzy cut, and a pair of robins. I've missed this year the company of my family, so I thought I would create a stamp set that I could be used to create a nice sympathy card with a simple thinking of you. So it could bring some happiness and joy to whoever receives it. The stencil PS222 is very versatile. You can get so many patterns out of it. You can check all the samples I made at my blog. You can even create Christmas trees and stars out of them, believe it or not. ESC23 was the hope stamp set for me. I created it when the news were the positive results of the COVID vaccines were shared, so I could see an end to the pandemic finally. <laughs> And I was very excited and very happy. So I started to feel butterflies in the belly, hence the quotes and the butterflies of the stamp set. And at the designing time, the song Feeling Good by Nina Simone got stuck in my mind. Butterflies having fun, you know what I mean. <laughs> so that's why I included feeling good and having fun in the stencils. They are really powerful quotes and I decided to add a playful circle pattern on it. Okay, let's start with today's video, where I'll use all my stamps and these two stencils. I've talked enough already, so I'll briefly explain how I make the bullet journal in general, and I'll let the images unfold, and I'll let you discover the steps with a nice music behind instead of my voice.
thanks very much for watching i hope you liked the journal spread for the month of january using my newest stamps and stencils that i released for paper rc uh, please let me know if uh, you like the video and the products itself i would love to read your comments so i'll respond as soon as i can i've done many more other videos with these news products but obviously i don't have time to edit them all at once so i'll be releasing them one by one so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my youtube channel consider subscribing so you don't miss any of the new ones coming thanks very much for watching and take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye